Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you haven't been here before, my name is Julie and I mostly make content surrounding topics such as mental health, makeup, as well as music. Today we're doing our makeup, so you could call this video makeup related. It is mental health related as well because it's a little bit about my mental health and also my professional background with mental health. And I'm running on crazy adrenaline and shock right now, so I don't know how this is going to go, but I'm going to prime my eyelids with white concealer and do a colorful look and just update y'all on my life. This is crazy. If you've seen past videos, I'm thinking in particular the video where I came out and talked about how I have an ED and it's been horrible to deal with and ruining my life and my social life and my energy and all those awful things. Um, that's still going down, unfortunately, and has been challenging. But a big piece of that ED is that I do not work. So I do not need to make sure I'm fueling my body enough to do right by my clients as a therapist. I'm not working. So it's just kind of enabled the toxicity of the behaviors of my ED to just continue on for me personally anyway, that's just how it works. Moving on from that, many of you may also know that it's I've been in a weird spot where my degree from what I knew was not yet conferred even though I'd finished all my academic coursework for my degree, I hadn't finished the internship. Now here's the thing, I did a 100 hour practicum, which in my state is the requirement for your LMHC. I did the 600 internship hours, which is also a requirement, and I was enrolled to do 300 more hours at a field site doing therapy because my internship before that was in a school setting. But COVID came and I could not do the internship due to the nature of everything and some of you may know I cannot wear a mask. And no, it's not a freedom thing. It's PTSD thing. It's real. It's legitimate. I am not a Karen. Okay. Um, and that's been really difficult to deal with. And that's been really hard on my mental health as well. Oh, I'm just looking at my shirt to figure out. Okay. We're going to do pink, purple, and blue with some yellow. Yes. That is what we're doing. So back to my story. It was a weird place in limbo where my academic coursework was done for my degree but beyond that, I wasn't in a good spot, unfortunately. So since I couldn't complete the internship, I was under the impression that my degree wasn't going to be conferred, even though I was on track to graduate in May. My school went MIA. My school did not talk to me for months. I did not hear from anyone, and I recently tried to check in with them only to see that they were on vacation, so there was no way of getting in touch with anyone. A couple days ago, I get an email that's automated from my school that says, congrats, your degree's conferred and your diploma is coming in the mail. And I'm like, what? <laughs> I'm like, what? Like, how is this possible? So I don't, I'm, I'm the type of person that's like, I don't believe it till I see it. Like, this is not real. This isn't really gonna happen, what have you. Um, so I ordered my transcript. My school's annoying and only offers paper transcripts, which is whatever. Uh, so I had to do that. And I was waiting for that because that would have my conferral date on it, which means that my degree is officially conferred. I can apply for jobs because jobs need your transcript or a copy of your diploma. And they need to know for sure that you truly um, graduated from college. So my diploma came in the mail. It happened. It really did. And I still was just like, this is great and all, but uh, I'm not going to buy it until there's more. And then there was more. My transcript came yesterday with the conferral date of May 5th, 2020. As of May 5th of this year, I have my master's degree of arts in counseling psychology, which has been my dream. I started off in school at community college and I went part-time and I struggled. I had so many emotional struggles going to school. It was so difficult for me, but I did it. I went to school through the summer and I did go part-time. That was just my pace. That's just what I needed. Everyone has unique needs in school. And I got my associate's degree in December, 2015. Then 
I went to finish up the rest of my degree online and I got my bachelor's degree in psychology with a minor in criminal justice in December 2017 and then immediately started graduate school after. So I finished my graduate program in two and a half years despite my first practicum falling through, despite struggling to find an internship and falling into a deep depression over that and then finding an internship that burnt me out so bad that my mental health was at stake and got let go and discriminated against. Um, but we won't get into that. We'll, we'll get, just move on for that because the thing is, if I hadn't done that internship, I would not be graduated. I would not be here. And I appreciate the clients I had there. The students I had were just so wonderful and I learned so much from them. And I will never forget them and that experience that I had. I'm just so unbelievably grateful for it. And my supervisor, she was great. I, I don't have anything bad to say about her. I, it was just the way it went down in the end. And that two months before lockdown, I was already isolated and lying around not doing anything, you know? that. Piece Piece was definitely difficult for me. Sorry I keep sniffling, I was crying earlier, but you can see why, because my degree is conferred, okay? And I did the required hours, I'm on track for LMHC, which in my state is a licensed mental health counselor that makes me a licensed therapist. However, moving forward for those of you who don't know how this process works to be a therapist. In my state, you don't get your license right away. You have to do 3,360 postgraduate hours and you need supervision too. So you need to go somewhere with licensed people that are qualified to supervise you and what you're doing. And if you're a therapist, you should have a supervisor no matter what. You should at least have a colleague, even if you're licensed that you reach out to and talk about cases with and whatnot. So the next step for me, of course, is finding a job, which I was very nervous about and it was a big process. However, I really liked my field site. I liked that they saw my mental health struggles as a strength and that I could be open with them and they never discriminated against me for it ever. And they wanted me there and they didn't want me to feel like I wasn't able to do it. So I haven't talked to them in months either because of the whole mask thing. And I was ashamed and embarrassed to admit, hey, I can't wear a mask. This is, this is too hard for me. You know, that was just embarrassing for me to admit. But today I made the call because first things first is I would definitely like to work there. Obviously, of course I'd want to work there. You know, they're just so amazing and you want to work somewhere where you have supportive staff. So I call today and I talk to my supervisor and I tell her my situation and she says, let's work something out. And I said, oh, okay, well, do you still want me to do my internship? Cause I'm not enrolled in school anymore. And I have, you know, the hours and, and everything. And she said, nope. She said, we have amazing supervision here and they do. So not only am I gonna be supervised by her who she has over what, 25 years experience in the field, but her um, colleague is an LMHC and as someone who's going to school for that or went to school for that, you need some of your supervision hours from a licensed mental health counselor as opposed to just a social worker, which she's a licensed independent social worker. It's not like these licenses are much different in the field. You're a therapist or you're a therapist. It's just a different track. It really doesn't define anything. Yeah, I literally had just filled in these pink brows and I got on the phone with her before I filmed this and talked and she's gonna hire me guys. I'm literally found out I graduated completely officially yesterday and today I'm gonna be a therapist. It's not fully official yet. It was funny. She's like, we'll probably work something out. And then she's like, no, 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 we'll definitely work something out. And it may be a lot of work, but I'm in. And that, that's how amazing and incredible these people are. And this just feels right. This just feels like the right next step in my life. So my plan is to be a therapist part-time. I even told her about my personal training cert and she said, you know, you can do stuff with that in this field too, right? And I said, yeah, I wanna be a wellness coach and do coaching. I'm very interested in that industry as well. And she said, yeah, definitely. So for them, it's not even an ethical issue that I do that. Um, they're just super supportive of everything. And I just, feel so incredibly lucky that despite all the challenges I've faced and everything I've been through in my life that I'm here and going to be a therapist. I mean, God, look at my username. My username is Julie Counseling. The whole point of this channel is, hey, I'm an intern. I'm going to school to be a counselor and I want to reach out about mental health and educate other people and, and help people. And that's just my main passion. 
I'm just in shock right now and can't believe this is happening and I feel like this video is getting long so I'm gonna do some more on my makeup and then I'll come back and keep talking okay be right back we are back I'm gonna do my foundation now reality is setting in and this is so weird but I do have more life updates to talk to you about which is so weird for me because it's been COVID and nothing has been going on but you may have seen I've added when I remember to the outro of my videos that I'm now a certified personal trainer and I have an Instagram for all of that to build up my upcoming coaching business. If you're interested, my Instagram is Julie underscore coaching and it's perfect because it goes with Julie underscore counseling, which is my Insta for this channel. So yes, I went to Issa. They are a wonderful organization that has personal training certification courses. They also have courses in other specialties. So I recently completed my nutrition course. I am a certified sports nutrition specialist. Yes, I didn't get the certificate for that yet, but I am certified. I passed my final with flying colors, which is really cool. I don't plan to ever work with athletes or give anyone detailed nutritional plans like that, like meal plans. As someone who's not very fond of diet culture and wants to lean more toward intuitive eating, it's not really going to be my clientele. As a wellness coach, I want you to be well. I want you to eat foods to nourish your body, not to make yourself feel like poo. And I don't really have an interest, but it was a great course. It taught me a lot about nutrition as well. And it's super interesting. So I'm on my final course with Issa. It is a transformation specialist course and it, that is specific to all the psychology involved in helping someone to stick to a sustainable lifestyle whether that be fitness nutrition what not and that's been perfect so it's a mix of if any you psych people are out there motivational interviewing and positive psychology which I never really got to take much of in undergrad. Like I went to a few graduate residencies where people talked about motivational interviewing, but it wasn't in as much depth as I guess I would have liked. Oh God, there's nothing like a fresh concealer. Look at this. So yeah, so I think the courses that I chose to do with Issa make me very marketable as a wellness coach. And I'm really excited to work with you. If there's anyone out there who's interested in working with me, I don't have my business set up yet. I don't have prices set up. Although if my friend Manda is watching this, she asked me for a workout plan. And at first I was like, oh yeah, like, you know, I need to practice all of that kind of ish for starting my business. And she's like, no, 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 no. Like I, I would pay you. And I'm like, yeah. So I'm down to do that too. Like if you're not down for the full coaching experience and you want a personal trainer that's going to write you a workout plan and empower you and you can ask them questions, hit me up for that too. I again need to figure out pricing, but I am qualified to write you a workout plan if it's something you want to do, but no pressure. I know money's tight right now. I am not asking anyone to throw money my way that cannot afford to do it no whatsoever um it's just that next year i really ideally would like to move out of my home i am turning 29 in a couple of weeks it is beyond time but financially wasn't doable until recently and i'm super excited that it might be doable the reality setting in it's it's hard because i'm excited and i'm just crying happy tears and everything you know I know I'm a little scared. I'm, I'm feeling the emotion that I'm a little scared of things changing and having to work, even if it's from home and the stress because it's stressful to be a therapist, okay? Like we have to hear about all your trauma and we love you and we care about you and we wanna help you. But at the same time, we can develop secondhand trauma from hearing about so many traumas all day. And that's why you have to be very diligent at caring for your own mental health and well-being if you're going to work in the mental health profession. But that is also why I plan to do it part-time. My dream is to, do that part-time and do the personal training slash coaching part-time as well. Wow, I put like barely any foundation on and a lot of concealer. So anyway, I'm going to finish up this look, show you the final look, film my outro because I feel like I've been talking forever. But since I've had videos where I'm emotionally all over the place, I wanted to show you one where my emotions are all over the place, but in a good way. So I'll be right back. All right. 
here it is. Here is the finished look. I did some green in my waterline, purple underneath, threw some goldish yellow here, and did my, of course, favorite purple lipstick ever. And I'm just like, I feel so many different feelings at the same time. It feels overwhelming, but in a good way. And I'm just really excited that you guys got to see my live reaction. Like I literally was just crying and got off that call as I was doing my makeup. And it, this is all just so exciting. And I really can't wait to see what the future has in store for me. So thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a like if you enjoyed it. I'd love for you to subscribe to my channel as well. Leave me a comment down below saying hello if you haven't talked to me already. You can also follow me on my social medias, which will be down here. My Instagram is Julie underscore counseling. My coaching Instagram is Julie underscore coaching. And my Twitter is Julie counseling with no underscore. And my Facebook page will be linked down below in the description as well. And I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye guys.